It is finally here guys, up until now Intel has finally launched the Z390 chipset that we have been waiting for along with the Core 9000 CPUs, also known as the Coffee Lake S Refresh. What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel, Joe here from Jojo Coco Studio, thanks for dropping by because today we're going to be checking out the Z390 chipset motherboards and also the specifications of Core 9000 CPUs that Intel has recently launched. Now behind me I have the MSI MEG Z390 ACE motherboard. We're going to be checking out the cool features, overall design and also unbox it, see what's inside the goodie stuff. Special thanks to MSI for providing me this. Let's get this started. Now to start off, Intel has finally launched three new unlocked core CPU processors and it is very clear that they are going head to head with AMD's second generation CPUs. The i9-9900K has a base frequency of 3.6 GHz along with 8 cores and 16 threads. Turbo boost without overclocking, we can expect the frequency to increase by 5 GHz. Now keep in mind that is not overclocked yet. The L3 cache memory has increased up to 16 MB on the i9-9900K, which definitely lowers the probability of cache misses, hence significantly upgrading the performance. TDP watt has remained unchanged at 95 watts, which is good news as we can expect the heat to be similar to the previous 8000 generation. But speaking about the heat from the CPU processors, the new Coffee Lake S refresh will no longer have the low performing thermal compound behind the IHS. It is now soldered on between, which of course thermal transfer will definitely improve. Now onto the motherboard chipset, the Z390 chipset. Of course, this chipset fully supports the Core 9000 series and also supports the 8000 series. Since it supports both two generations, the socket still remains as LGA1151. Another feature that the Z390 chipset offers are native USB 3.1 Generation 2 connection. The USB 3.1 Gen 2 provides high speed transfer data up to 10 gigabits per second, as the Z390 chipset now fully supports the 2x2802.11 AC at a maximum speed of 1.72 gigabits per second. I'll tell you what, the overall packaging design is amazing. MSI, you did a great job. It looks like it's gonna pop out in your build for sure. And as you can see here, the overall design of the motherboard is like stealthy black. And we also have like a hint of RGB-ness on the left hand side. All right, everybody. So that is the motherboard, but I guess um, let's put this at the side for a second and check out what's going on underneath the motherboard. So obviously we have the manual, a useful manual so that we know what's going on and what is what. Useful, don't lose that for sure. Some more documentations and um, stickers and SLI bridge. I guess this is the hard version, not a flexible one. That's fine. A bunch of cables. I guess you get the standard stuff, for example, the, the SATA connectors, some RGB wires for that. And um, I guess this is probably one of the most important ones. This is the antenna for the Wi-Fi. What else? I guess that's pretty much it. Let's check out the motherboard. And there she is, everybody. This is the MEG Z390 ACE motherboard. And obviously it's just right there. We have the Z390 chipset that is covered by uh, I think uh, this is a heat sink. Yeah, it's, it's kind of cold. Yeah, so it must be a heat sink. So let's just um, quickly go through all the cool features of this motherboard. As we saw earlier on the box, this is the RGB. So let's peel the sticker off. Amazing. Can't wait to test this. Can't wait to turn this on and see the RGB-ness. And that's uh, very reflective. Hello there. So MSI is calling this RGB part the Mystic Lighting Infinity. That's because there's a bunch of addressable RGBs underneath and there's also a mirror behind so that it creates that really cool infinity effect. I'll definitely show you when we light up the motherboard. And since we're near the IO shield, as you can see here, the IO shield is actually pre-installed 
which is great. I mean, I think this should be like a standard for like all motherboards in the future so that we don't have to install the IO shield onto the case, which is like kind of flimsy at sometimes. The IO ports consist of useful things, for example, the clear CMOS button, the BIOS flashback, a designated BIOS flashback uh, USB drive, and a couple of USB 2.0s, USB 3.1 Gen 2, which is the red ones. And of course, it's uh, in a type C or type A. Obviously, we have the normal LAN. We have the Wi-Fi connector, which is over here. And also the standard audio input and output. Moving on to the side of the motherboard, we have the Audio Boost HD. So this is uh, an isolated audio system where it combines ESS audio, DAC with amplifiers so that all your games and music will sound really nice and crisp. Right next to the Audio Boost, as you can see here, there are three M.2 PCIe Gen 3 slots where it can transfer speed up to 32 gigabits per second on the latest SSDs. If however, if you have a consistent transfer flow of data and then the M.2 gets really hot, you can always put the M.2 over here because it has a shield frozer, which is basically acts as a heat sink so it can dissipate heat very well and so it doesn't throttle the, the SSD. This motherboard has six PCIe expansion slot. Obviously the first slot is for your graphics card. And if you have a two graphics card a nvidia graphics card you can do a sli connecting configuration or if you have a three graphics card that is amd you can also do a three-way crossfire as well if we look at the bottom right hand corner of the motherboard as you can see here there's a little dial and this dial is called game boost dial apparently it goes from 0 to 11 and what it does is that it automatically overclocks your CPU. It adjusts your multiplier and also the voltage. So that should be very interesting. But unfortunately, I can't test this today because obviously I don't have the, the Core 9000 series to, to overclock. So we'll take it as is. Lastly, I just want to mention a few more things before I finish this overview so we have the USB 3.1 Gen 2 connectors to connect to your case that's pretty cool then we have a easy debug over here so if there's a problem with the the connecting or booting up the system the the LEDs will shine either CPU RAM or maybe uh, the graphics card and so on or you can actually just look at the the debug code so that's really easy and last but not least we have dual power connectors for the cpu so i'm assuming this is for the the latest core 9000 cpu so that it can feed enough power Okay, I know this is probably one of the messiest quick builds I've ever done, but just bear with me. The reason why I'm doing this is because so that we can see like the entire motherboard of like the way how it's designed and maybe the lighting and all that. So as you can see here, we've, we're using the Seasonic power supply, the 850 watts and um, the CryoRig CPU cooler, HyperX by Kingston, that's um, 16 gigabytes of RAM, and of course the graphics card by MSI as well. This is the 1070 Ti titanium version. I don't know if you can see that. Looks pretty cool, right? Anyways, back to what we're specifically talking about is obviously the motherboard. Let's turn it on for the first time because I've actually never seen it real life, especially I wanna check out this um, cool rgb effect maybe we should turn off the the lights as well but um all right here we go guys okay so we got some red light here and very conveniently there's a power button here and oh that's pretty cool as i mentioned earlier the knob has um a lighting indicator can you see that so it's set to zero right now which is good i want to set it as default and I guess um, switch it on. All right, 
Ooh, we can actually see that infinity light effect. And good thing it posts. CPU and memory has changed. Please set up. All right, that's great. But let's come back to this, actually. Let's switch off the lights. Which one is it? I think it's this one. I think we should switch off more lights, actually. All right, that is looking pretty cool. Obviously, the graphics card looks pretty damn awesome. But of course, um, we're here to talk about the motherboard. Here, you can see that the LAN port is actually lit up with red lights and also the USB 3.1 Gen 2. Over here, there's this clear CMOS button as well and then we have this really cool infinity light as we mentioned earlier that looks very very nice it's so subtle I mean I really do like how like the addressable RGBs are like really nice and smooth what else can we see here we see that we have some lighting effect on top of the RAMs and what else we got here I think that's pretty much it. So I guess um, this motherboard is uh, going for like a really minimal design and the really cool thing about the, the the lighting effects is obviously the infinity part. I guess there's one strip of LED but then they have like a bunch of um, mirrors or like that infinity effect going on in there. So that looks very very nice. I really like how it's like really very what's that word that's right very mesmerizing look at that oh so that is the end of the video and i hope you guys enjoyed it with this overview of the meg z390 ace by msi and um, you might be asking how much exactly is this motherboard well this motherboard according to the msi marketing team it will cost 289 us dollars msrp so I'm not sure how much it will eventually cost, but um, that's that's the initial price from the MSI team. So it's too bad that I don't have the Core 9000 CPUs to test it and maybe overclock with that really tiny knob at the bottom right hand corner of the motherboard. But I'm pretty sure that other tech YouTubers, especially the big guys will have it. So maybe you should check out their channel. But um, as for now, this is all I can check out and like, you know, give information to you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. I'm going to be building a computer based on this motherboard, graphics card, RAM, CPU because I don't have the 9000 yet. And also, yeah, the power supply, Seasonic as well. So um, yeah, don't forget to subscribe and press the like button if you enjoyed this video. And uh, if you uh, want to check out my other videos, you can... Uh, Check them out right here. All right. Okay. Um, I guess I'll catch you guys later. Take care, guys. Bye.